We are aware about the atrocities being committed against women. We are pained and disturbed. The mind is agitated. Each one of us are pondering over the issue. The government, number of social and religious organizations, all are eager to find a solution and are trying to address the issue. The immediate issue is being handled by the law enforcing authorities, prevention, protection and action. It is being done through awareness programs in colleges and other places. But we need to address the source, address the psyche. I feel we educationists have a crucial role to play for the long term approach. For the last 15 years, Nitanji Education Services has been advocating the concept of boy-child education. To an extent, it is being practiced through the life skill programs of adolescents through the Open Forum for Principles. I feel this concept of boy-child education has to be taken further and not be limited to adolescence or sex education. It can be done at two levels, students and parents. For students, it can be life skill programs right from junior KG to standard 12th. I believe Every child in India at least goes to school, maybe from junior kg till up to possibly full standard. After that, there are dropouts. The initiation of such activities therefore has to begin here. The topic for the junior kg and senior kg would be self-expression and interactions, which we have actually tried to do from 2010 with Pregna School going out and the Ideal School. In Mumbai. The other area is imbibing, imbibing sensitivity and empathy. In this context, let me share that Nitat Jaggi has an activity that the members visit patients in hospitals, inmates of old homes and orphanages and we perform for them, chat with them and listen to them. We are providing joy to the patients and the inmates but we are creating an impact on the minds of our members. Such interactions have scope for instilling sensitivity and empathy. If every school takes up this program and send their children to such places, very subtly, a sense of sensitivity and empathy will start developing into the young minds. The other is the interaction with parents, effective parenting workshops, stressing on sensitivity and empathy and society is crucial. We need to understand sensitivity begins at home. Even at junior college level, the students should be exposed to life skill programs or activities that would have an impact in their attitude towards respect for women in particular. It is time that we seriously address the issue of boy-child education.